I want to show you what I want my Tamer deck to be like. Um, I'm almost there. I'm so close at all the creatures, all the spells. I just need a couple more lands, like fetch lands and stuff. And I think two cards on my sideboard, which I'm going to be getting really soon. So I'm really excited to share this with you because I am in love with this deck. And these additions and this version of it is just so much better than what I'm running now. And it's just a sweet, sweet deck. Seriously, it's so much fun to play. That's why I like about magic, building stuff that's fun to play. But I didn't build this one. It is a Pro Tour. Uh, Pro Tour cons the Tarkir. I believe it plays like 70th. So there's room for improvement, and I'm planning on doing some things to it and tweaking it a little bit to be more me, because that's what a deck is all about. Being you and killing people how you want to be them to die, but in the game of magic. Just remember that. So... Um, this deck was piloted by Pedro Carvelho, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, I'm gonna think so. But, it's sweet, like I said. And, like I said, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit to make it more me in the future. But, I wanna get it to this point first with the lands. Because I think the mana base is pretty solid. I might have to tweak it just a little bit to, um, play the cards I want. Like, Clever Impersonator isn't in here. And I like that card a lot. It's so much fun. So, for land base, we have four copies of Forest. Straight up, taps for grain mana. Sweet. Also, have four copies of Frontier Bivouac, I believe. Biv. Ba yeah, we're just gonna say Bivouac. And it comes into the battlefield tapped, it ha and then it taps for either red, green, or blue mana, and it has some freaking sweet art. Seriously, I would live there. Preferably when it's a little warmer, but I would live there. It's awesome. Also contains three copies of Mana Confluence. Um, tap it, take one damage, get any color you want. It's necessary, um, especially when you have three colors in a deck. You kind of need a little bit of mana fixing. And there's really no technically just blue sources of land in this deck. It's all generated through um, dual tappy lands. Not tappy lands. Um, Shivan Reef, Yavimaya Coast, Mana Confluence, and Frontier Bivouac. Oh, and Temple of Epiphany, that also does it, are the only place we get islands. There's no just basic islands in this deck at all. So, sometimes Mana Confluence is necessary to deal with points of damage, and technically her life shouldn't matter too much. There's some cases where pain lands hurt a lot, as you can see, and I believe game one of our... Not so red aggro, not so budget red aggro deck versus this deck. I killed myself. Spoiler alert! I killed myself off of pain lands. It was awful. Awesome. I also include three copies of mountains because you have to have mountains in here. I have to have mountains in all my decks. I think it's a requirement in order for me to play it. Yes. I also have in here one copy of Shiv and Reef. It taps for either colorless mana or you can pay one and it'll tap for red or blue. See, there's there's part of the blue. So that's really nice because then you can only take damage when you need to take damage. But sometimes it's a lot more often than you think. And um, also include one copy of Temple of Epiphany. That scry is pretty awesome. Tapping for red or blue is also very nice. Mostly the scry. And you don't take damage off of it. That's also good does come into play tapped, but that scrying kind of sort of makes up for it a lot. Um, I also include, I want to have four copies of Wooded Foothills, because that's the fetch land um, that is blue, no, green or red. Green or red, you uh, tap it, stack it, go get whichever basic land you need of that color, a mountain or a forest, which is awesome because it thins out your deck, and you can get what color you need to help you with that. Unfortunately, you can't go get dual lands because they're not in standard and they're old and they're expensive. But if you could, it would be awesome because you could still get that color fixing in both. But this game, you just have to pick one, which is okay. I can handle that. And our final four sets of land is Yavimai Coast. Tap for green or blue if you pay one life. Otherwise, you can just tap it for colorless. It's pretty cool. So that's all the land base. Uh, creatures. Creatures are awesome. Creatures are my favorite. They are, oh, so exciting. I love the creatures in this deck because, ah, it's either mana creatures or punch you in the face creatures. 
which I like a lot. So it has four copies of Elvish Mystic because one mana for a 1-1 one, one that taps for a green is awesome. I love Elvish Mystic. I play it in most of my decks that I have green in because Elvish Mystic. Seriously. So good. I also have four copies of Air of the Wilds. It's two mana for a 2-2 two, two. that has Death Touch. This guy is awesome. It's insane. It was the game day promo for game day cons of Tarkir and he's so good. Seriously, you can stave and hoard off and fend off a whole bunch of stuff or you can attack through and get a lot of damage through eventually if you stock him up because no one wants to block a death touch. It also has a ferocious mechanic of if you have a power creature for a greater one attacks, you get plus one plus one so it's not a two two, it's a three three with death touch. Still with death touch. I love death touch. It's so good. Alright, so four copies of that because death touch. That's that's if a card has death touch on it, I'm gonna put it all in a deck. It's gonna be like five color death touch. And I'm just gonna be like, eat it! I put all my bunch of one ones. Rip this ripper. Nope, that doesn't have death touch. Air of the wilds. What is it? Sedge Scorpion. Freak is chosen. So we're going I don't know. I'm I really just need to build that deck and do it. It'll be awesome. Okay, so four copies of Air of the Wilds, three copies of Rattleclaw Mystic because two mana, two one, you can tap it to get one, two, three, what is it, blue, red, or green, so whatever color you need. You also can play three, put it down as a morph, pay two, flip it over, and when it ever flips over, you get three mana, a red, a blue, a green, and you could usually tap it and get four mana out of it in one turn and put down something huge like... Sagu Mauler, you know, if you happen to have your 6 6 hexproof trample, that's not a miss deck, but I've almost done that before. It was a lot of fun to get that out on like turn 3. Because 6 6 trample hexproof is sweet. So good! Alright, I also include so only 3 copies of Rat Out of Claw Mystic because we already got a lot of rampy stuff and we should be good. Should be good. I also include four full copies of Boon Seder. This card's awesome and it won me a game. I had Team Ascendancy and it was my turn. I was tapped out. My opponent was like, you can't do seven damage in one turn. I pull my second copy of Boon Seder, pay six mana, put two copies of Boon Seder, swing for eight because they all have haste from Team Ascendancy. It was beautiful and he still doesn't like me for it. But it was an awesome play. It was great. Seriously. Okay, so Boon Seder, 3 mana, 1 colorless, 2 green for a 4-2. Also has flash, so you can flash it in whenever you want because that's awesome. But you have to do it before you declare blockers. Just a heads up. I'm getting better at this whole rules thing. Um, you can also pay 5 mana, 3 colorless, and 2 green to bestow it onto a creature and make them super duper big and have 4 more power and 2 more toughness and just punch people in the face even harder because it's a boon seder. It's awesome. Alright, so three, four full copies of that. Um, I also have four copies of, I think, one of my favoriteest cards in Cons of Tarkir, Savage Knuckleblade. Three mana, it is red, green, and blue, which uh, occasionally I've had a problem getting to, but normally it's okay. Um, for a 4-4 four, four creature. Ugh, so big. You can also pay a red mana to give it haste, which is amazing. Put it on turn four, pay your three, pay haste, hit for four. Because four toughness on, ugh, it's good. Um, it also, you can pay two mana, two colorless mana and a blue to return it to your hand. Or you can pay two colorless mana and a green to give it plus two, plus two until end of turn. But you can only do that once, which is fine. Hitting with a six, six guy is great. It's seriously good. Six sixes are awesome. So four full copies of those because Savage Knuckle Blade. I like it almost as much as I love my Air of the Wilds. Yeah. Um, I also include one copy of Ash Cloud Phoenix because this card's kind of fun. It is four, four mana, two colorless, two red for a 4-1 creature. Yeah, it flies though, so that's good. It flies, and when it dies, you get to return it to the battlefield morphed. So that's kind of awesome. It comes back because it's a phoenix and they don't die, you know, the ashes and fox from Harry Potter. Yeah, okay. So, 
You can also put it, play it for more, three colorless, and then to turn it over you have to pay four colorless and two red, which is a lot, six mana is a lot, but it does, when it's turned face up, you deal two damage to each player, including yourself. That's interesting. I didn't realize that before. But that's okay. Two damage, because usually when you turn a face up, you're going to kill your opponent. Because they don't have blockers. You swing for two, or you hit them for two, and then swing for four. Yay! They're dead. Best day ever. So, one copy of that, because one copy's fun. I may be taking that card out and putting something else in. I don't know. It's pretty decent. The whole not die thing is kind of fun, too. Alright, so... <clears throat> I also include four copies of Palucranos World Eater, Legendary Hydra Giant, 5-5 five, five for four mana, two colorless, two green, and, and, you can monstrosity him for XX and a green, you know, and then you fight creatures, get rid of them off the board, swing him for a giant whatever, hit them with, it's, it's a lot of fun. Monstrousing, monstrosity Pelucranos is pretty sweet. It's it's nice to have a bigger Hydra because Hydras are awesome. So four copies of that because four mana for a five five you can't argue with ever. It's like three mana for a four four. Four mana for a five five. Yay! So good. Alright, my final two creature slots belong to my favorite red flyer that has protection from white. Storm Breath Dragon! <sighs> It's five mana, three colorless, two red for a four four. With protection from light, with flying, breeze, storm, lightning things, and punishes all your enemies because storm breath dragon. It also has haste. Haste is awesome because you can attack and swing for four in the air on turn five. Earlier, if you've got pump mana stuff, which we do, so you're like storm breath dragon. It's turn four or three. You know, I swing for four in the air. You're dead. Yay. Um, it also has monstrosity. I've never gotten to do this yet, but I really want to. Because if you pay five mana, five colorless mana and two red, um, monstrosity for three, so your four four just turned into a let me add this seven seven, because math is hard. And and when it becomes monstrositous, monstrous, monstrous, monstrous. It deals damage to each opponent, each opponent, so pretty sweet in commander too. He's in my commander deck because you. Um, equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. So if you're playing against a control player, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome, 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 awesome. Only two copies of that because, eh, I don't, I'd rather have grand creatures because they're more fun to smash. It's like Hulk smash things. I like Hulk. All right, so that's all the the creatures. Um, spells include three copies of Lightning Strike because Lightning Strike, two mana, deal three damage to, to creature or player. Awesome. You, you have to have Lightning Strike if you're running red more than likely because Lightning Strike. Um, I also include three copies of Teamer Charm, a red, a blue, and a green. You get to pick one of three choices. You can either have A, target creature you control gets plus one plus one and fights target creature you don't control. Yay for green! Alright, blue is counter target spell unless it's own controller pace three. Oh, didn't see that coming from a teamer creature deck! Well, you do because of teamer charm, but I'm just saying, most people don't see it coming. You're like, I have teamer charm, counter your spell. Wait, what? Yes. Yes, it happens, and it's beautiful when you peel off like three in a row and you're just like, counter, 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 counter. I hit you with my Pelucranos I've had on the battlefield. <laughs> Ah, I'm a mean person, sometimes. Alright, and it's final ability, red. Creatures with power 3 or less can't block this turn. So, Sylvan Caryatids, Corsair Crew Fixes, all the stuff that you just can't get through, boom, now you can. Because they don't have power 3 or greater, usually, unless they have counters on them. But don't let people put counters on them, that's awful. So, three copies of that, because it's fun to play. The color sync is a little more taxing, but... It's fine. It's worth it to pay those three mana. Alright, final four cards in the deck are Cratered Claws. I like this card. I like this art. I like this card. It's so cool. X and a red mana to deal X damage to target creature or target player. So that's cool. Um, 
yeah, you know, X. X, you could pay zero, it does zero damage. You could pay one, it'll do one damage. That's okay, I mean, if you have one, that's not quite a lightning strike. That's kind of lame. Which is why it has the ferocious ability of, oh, deal damage X plus two to target player or creature. If you control a creature, power greater than four. So there's your lightning strike, there's your magma spray, whatever. No, not magma spray, something else. I don't know, shock. You can deal two damage with one mana because it's X plus two, so if you pay just the red, you deal two damage to something. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Or you can pay, like, a lot of damage and kill your opponent. I put it for 18, that would be sweet. I deal 20 damage in one turn to target player. It's awesome. I like Critical Claws a lot. It is a sorcery, though, which is kind of sad, but it would be too way too powerful if it wasn't. So I understand the concession Wizard has not made, and I'm just grateful for the card. Alright, sideboard cards include three copies of Hunt the Hunter, one green mana for plus two plus two to a green creature you control. There's a lot of them. It gets to fight target green creature your opponent controls um, and hopefully kills them with the plus two plus two. So only bring this in if your opponent has green creatures, otherwise it does nothing. I guess it does give your green creature plus two plus two, which could be good. I don't know. Alright, Magma Spray, one copy of it in this sideboard. One red mana to deal two damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. So, Blood Soak Champion, be gone! I don't like that card. I don't like playing against that card. I like the card. I don't like playing against it. That card takes care of it. Alright, we also have four copies of Stubborn Denial. One blue mana to counter target spell unless its controller plays an extra mana. You know, that's usually okay. But if you have Ferocious with a big creature on the board, a four or greater with power, you get to counter the spell entirely. They don't have the opportunity to pay extra mana for it. So that's awesome. Yay for big creatures. I also include two copies of Destructive Revelry. It's a red, it's a green mana, and you basically get to destroy target enchantment or artifact, which is nice. Because it also deals two damage to that person's owner thing. Yeah. That permanence controller. So, Corsair Crew Fix, be gone with you. I did sideboard these in for Corsairs. I also got to use it once on um, that Eye of Ugin thing that gives your player an extra turn. No, Nexus something. I don't know. Whatever it is that this, when you destroy this artifact, give you get an extra turn afterward. They tried to, um, shrapnel blast it to deal five damage for me, and I just was like, no! In response, I'm gonna destructive revelry it and deal two damage to you. You can still have your extra turn, but you don't get to deal five damage to me. So that was kind of fun. I died later, but, you know, it's okay. I also include another copy of Lightning Strike because I like that card a lot. And there's only three in the deck, so I needed the full four playset. Obviously. I also include one copy of Hornet's Nest. Hornet's Nest is really cool. I like it. It's three mana, two colorless, and a green for an O2 defender. So it can't attack, but that's okay. You don't need it to attack. Whenever it is dealt damage, you may put that many 1-1 one, one green Hornet tokens with fine with that touch onto the battlefield. that they've monstrous and then get that many flying death touch hornets. It's, there's some really mean things you can do with it because it's pretty, pretty sweet. And flying and death touch are the best combination ever. Yeah, I know. I like them a lot. Alright, so I also include one copy of Teamer Ascendancy. This card's awesome. It's a red, it's a blue, it's a green, and it's an enchantment. But all creatures you control gain haste, which is awesome, especially when you have big stuff you want to play up. You can get it out there pretty quick and they get haste. Yay! And kill your opponent. You also, if a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. Yes! Oh my goodness, I love this. It's an awesome, awesome mechanic because this deck has like 
all the creatures except for the Red Claw Mystics and the Elvish Mystics and the Iron of the Wilds, they don't count. Everything else has a power four or greater. You're going to be drawing a ton of cards, which is awesome. So yes, one copy of that. I'm thinking of putting that in the actual deck instead of just the sideboard because I like playing with it a lot. And the final two spots in the sideboard are for Serac Dragon Claw because you can't have a Deemer teamer deck without the con of the teamer clan because you just have to because he's really cool he's five mana two colorless a red a blue and a green for a six six giant legendary human warrior creature yes he also has flash because if it wasn't enough that he was a six six you can flash him in and smash your opponent in the face because they weren't expecting you to have a six six giant flash creature it's cool Yes, he also, he can't be countered, which is even better. Not that there's a lot. Oh, I guess there's Disdainful Stroke. But they can't use it on this. Oh, yeah. I know, I'm really mean when it comes to this guy. He's fun to play. Um, so once you get him out, he can't be countered. And even better, creature spells you control can't be countered. Yay! So you get him out, and every every creature you put down is now legit, and you can do it because they can't counter it, which is especially awesome if you're playing against a control deck. This is this is the thing to sideboard into because they can't stop you, which is awesome. I really like him. That's why there's two on the sideboard because he's sweet. So that is the deck that Pedro played. Um, like I said, he did do, he ended up going to 70th, which is not bad at all. It's way better than I could have ever done. But I do want to make a couple tweaks. I'm thinking some Xenagoses and, ah, uh, there's just like a list of creatures I want to play in it. And I think it's going to be sweet once I get it all finished. But let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more.